Since the pilot of the show Lucifer aired, viewers were enchanted by Tom Ellis playing in the role of the devil himself. As the show started to gain fame and grow in extreme speed, his fan base grew into millions. But so did his net worth. So, if you want to learn more about his lifestyle and what he does with all the money, you're in the right place. Get comfortable and enjoy, cause here is Tom Ellis' lifestyle and how he spends his millions. Number 7. Family and Education Hello, I'm Tom Ellis from Lucifer on Netflix and today… In order for us to be able to take you on this journey into his lifestyle, we have to start from the beginning. Born on 17 November 1978, this 42-year-old Welsh actor's father is a Baptist minister and his mother is a music teacher. He has three sisters, but did you know he's also a twin? He has a twin sister named Lucy and growing up in a female household has definitely made Ellis more comfortable around women. Following the line of their father, he also has a sister and an uncle who are both Baptist ministers. Now this comes quite as a shock, since he does play the role of the devil but lucky for Ellis, his family doesn't take things personally and they all joke around that. After attending high school and falling in love with music by playing French horn and developing an interest in acting, he decided he wanted to study both. So he went to study BA Dramatic Studies at the Royal Scottish Academy of Music and Drama. After a few years deep into his love for acting and music, together with his friend and fellow actor James McAvoy, he got his bachelor degree. Number 6. Relationships and Marriage After starting his acting career, he met Tamsin Althwaite through his good friend from the Academy, James McAvoy. Tom and Tamsin immediately hit it off and after a few months of dating, they decided it was time to tie the knot. They got married in 2006 and they have two beautiful children together. Unfortunately, in 2013, they filed for a divorce after Tamsin found out that Ellis had actually cheated on her. Ellis thinks of that as a terrible mistake caused by fame and fortune. The entire thing was happening while he was working in America and his ex-wife Tamsin said that it was more than just a one-night stand. But they did stay in a good relationship for their kids. But Ellis has quite a hard time since his kids live with their mom and he isn't able to see them as much as he wants due to his work schedule, but he tries to make everything work out. Few years after the divorce, or to be more specific, in 2019, Ellis tied the knot again with Megan Oppenheimer, and they are together till this day and they look happier than ever. Number 5. The Start of His Career Oh, the devil made me do it. I have never made any one of them do anything. Never. Even though he's one of the most known names in the celebrity circle due to his role for Lucifer, he did have a pretty humble start in the acting career. He started off with a few roles here and there until he got the one that would open all doors. Now, he has over 20 years of acting behind him and his first role ever being in 2000 on the TV show Kiss Me Kate. And by 2001, he has already been part of two films and four television shows. Did you know he even acted together with Joaquin Phoenix? Sadly, his voice in the movie Squash with Phoenix got dubbed over the fear that his American accent just wasn't good enough. But that didn't stop Ellis. He had some amazing and memorable roles such as in EastEnders, The Fades and the British comedy Miranda. The role of Gary Preston in Miranda is one of his most popular roles, well, beside Lucifer, but we'll get to that in a minute. Number 4. Lucifer the to your king. After long years of trying to get just the right role, he was presented with the opportunity to play the amazing role of the incredible King of Hell, Lucifer. You'd think that Ellis would get this role for the salary and exposure it would give him, but he actually said that the actual script is what got him into the show and wanting to be a part of it. After reading a few lines of the script, he said that it was the humor of the show that attracted him as well as the unique perspective of Lucifer. As soon as he knew he liked it, he immediately knew he wanted to be a part of it. And to be honest, we can't imagine anyone else in his place. You can tell that Ellis gives all it takes into the role and with that, he's gaining the fame he clearly deserves. Even though the show was almost cancelled back in 2018, Netflix managed to renew it and save the cast as well as the fans for another three more seasons. Number 3. Salary and Net Worth There's no doubt that Lucifer helped Ellis go up high into the celebrity ladder, and with that his earnings and exposure skyrocketed. Although he was already a star before becoming the charming devil, this role definitely gave him a boost on his career. 
especially since it moved on Netflix, which gave the show a large international audience and was even voted for the most streamed series in 2019 on all platforms. Can you imagine how crazy that is? With the success of the show, Ellis also has a huge success following him, as well as thousands of new fans and viewers dying to see what he'll do next on Lucifer. Ellis is definitely the face that people associate with Lucifer the most, even though his co-stars are equally loved, with that, his net worth over the last couple of years has reached its peak. According to several sources, his net worth as of 2021 reaches $8 million and it's estimated that his earnings from Lucifer are around $50,000 per episode. So, given that the show now has 5 seasons and he's been on every single one of them, well, you do the math on how much money that actually is. But have you wondered how he decides to spend his money? Number 2. Charity I didn't know that my future husband was that cheap. I am not cheap. Before we mention the houses and cars, Lucifer's highest earner, together with his wife, Megan Oppenheimer, has been really invested into charity organizations. They have been promoting and also donating to multiple organizations such as Race for Kids and Planned Parenthood. Alice even once challenged Pierce Morgan to a charity boxing match. The couple even asked their wedding guests to donate to Planned Parenthood instead of giving them wedding gifts. Also, since the COVID-19 situation started, he has been actively helping and donating to people. And there's even a prize you can win if you donate to GOSH or the Great Ormond Street Hospital Children's Charity. What's the prize, you ask? Well, you can win a live karaoke session with none other than Lucifer himself. Number 1. Spending the Millions You know, Lucifer used to be God's favorite angel. <laughs> now, let's dive more into his house for a second. We know that Lucifer likes to live his life to a full luxury, to a point where he has a private suit above his nightclub, with his own elevator taking you directly inside the apartment. Now that is some bachelor dream come true. Ellis, on the other hand, does like a bit of luxury, but he keeps things private and humble. The star of the show has two homes, a main residence in Los Angeles and another one in Vancouver, Canada. Having a main residence in Los Angeles definitely comes in handy for this charming star due to filming commitments such as Lucifer, which has been shot mainly in Los Angeles. About his other home in Canada, we don't know much, but we can guess it's more of a vacation home. Besides spending his money on houses, Ellis likes to have his own collection of nice cars. Same as Lucifer in a way, both are huge fans of classic cars and luxury items, so no wonder Ellis was the perfect actor for this role. He has several cars in his collection, from a 1962 Chevrolet Corvette to an Audi. His love for cars clearly only makes him connect more to the role of the devil he plays. The rich style, expensive cars, and luxurious house are just part of the things that make Tom and Lucifer relatively the same person. On a related note, we wanted to know how would you spend all of these millions? Let us know in the comment section below. If you'd like to see more amazing videos such as this one, make sure to like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.